Ever wondered why some ETABS designs fail before construction even begins? In this video, I'll show you the key things to know before, during, and after designing an ETABS so you don't make costly mistakes. We'll cover modeling techniques, common errors, reinforcement detailing, and how to optimize your designs like a pro. Engineering design software operates on the principle of garbage in, garbage out, and ETABS is no exception. If you input incorrect material properties, unrealistic boundary conditions, or improper load definitions, the software will still generate results, but they will be meaningless or even dangerous. ETABS is a powerful tool, but it doesn't think for you. It only processes what you feed it. A well-designed structure starts with a proper understanding of engineering principles, not just clicking buttons and trusting the output blindly. Before you start designing, understand the structure. Is it a high-rise, a warehouse? Different structures need different approaches. Choose the right code, BS code, ACI, Euro code, or local standards. Get it right from the start. Define materials properly. Wrong concrete and steel properties can ruin everything. Apply loads carefully. Correct load application in ETABS ensures accuracy. Define dead, live, wind, seismic, and temperature loads carefully. Avoiding duplication of self-weight. Use point, line, or area loads based on structural elements. Follow code compliant load combinations for strength and serviceability. Verify the load path to ensure proper transfer from slabs to foundations. Even small errors can compromise design safety. So always double check before analysis. Don't guess. Boundary conditions matter. Fixed, pinned, get it wrong, and your structure won't behave as expected. Imagine designing a 10-story building without considering wind loads. Sounds like a disaster, right? Let's not do that. During the design, some common mistakes and how to fix them in ETABS. Check meshing and connectivity. Avoid excessive meshing that increases computation time. Poor meshing equals inaccurate results. Load application. Are loads properly transferred to beams and columns? Deform shape check. If your building is twisting weirdly, something's wrong. Reinforcement check. Not too much, not too little. Let's get it just right. I once had a design where my slab showed crazy deflections in ETABS. Turns out, I forgot to assign diaphragm constraints. These small mistakes can make or break your design. After finalizing the design, carefully review ETABS warnings and error messages. These hints are crucial as they often indicate potential structural issues, incorrect boundary conditions, or non-converging solutions. Never ignore them. Check for instabilities, excessive deflections, or load path irregularities. Review load combinations meshing, and connectivity issues that may affect accuracy. Verify story drifts, base shear distribution, and lateral load behavior to ensure compliance with design codes. Over-design leads to waste of materials and increased costs. ETABs may sometimes produce excessively conservative results, so you need to refine your model. Adjust member sizes while ensuring they still satisfy strength and serviceability requirements. Optimize reinforcement by reducing unnecessary steel. While maintaining code compliance, cross-check with manual calculations. If the software suggests excessive reinforcement or overly large sections, verify if it's truly needed or a result of modeling assumptions. Once the optimized design is finalized, it's time to generate construction drawings. Export structural details from ETABS. However, ETABS detailing is often unclear and may not fully comply with local codes. Refine drawings manually in CAD software AutoCAD, Revit, or other drafting tools for better readability and execution on site. Ensure proper reinforcement detailing, including bar labeling and spacing to prevent congestion, clear cover and lap lengths as per design standards, anchorage and development lengths to ensure structural integrity. Why manual refinement is essential. What looks fine in ETABS may not be practical for construction. Imagine your design passes in ETABS, but on site. The contractor says the reinforcement detailing is impossible to execute. To avoid this, always cross check drawings with team members, engineers, drafters, and contractors. Discuss potential constructability issues before finalizing drawings. Never rely solely on software. 
Manual calculations should always come first, establish expected values for moments, shares, and axial loads before modeling in ETABs. If there are large discrepancies between ETABs and manual results, review assumptions made in the analysis and load application. Small differences are expected, but major inconsistencies mean something is wrong and needs correction. This ensures accuracy, compliance, and reliability in your final design. By following this workflow, you ensure that your ETABS model isn't just theoretically correct but practical for real-world construction. If this video helped you, hit that like button, subscribe for more deep dive tutorials on civil engineering software, and let me know in the comments what's your biggest challenge with ETABS.